Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018 If you're watching live on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel So we are on the final stretch towards Forbidden Light, I'm really looking forward to using those uh, decks um, You guys are watching this on Thursday I believe um, so tomorrow we should have some sort of Forbidden Light content, even if it's just like a booster pack opening, maybe, um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dr. Matt, we already played, um, Zorak Garp, and now we're playing Zorak Lucario. It's final run before we move on to Forbidden Light. Um, Talonflame Guardi, no. Um, what deck do you find to be the most fun right now? It's a spreading deck. Like, I wouldn't mind using that deck in Toronto. Um, it just seems like a very fun deck to play, and its results have been pretty good, honestly. Um, <laughs> when you get that super boost knockout on Buzz. Um, okay, so this is Pedro's um, top 4 list from Brazil. Um, he was the Oceana champion in 2017, and now he almost made it to the finals of the 2018 Latin American Championship. Um, I will not be playing Expanded today, Ojun, but I will be playing Expanded on um, on Thursday for sure. So, 4-4 um, four four Zorak, J flying 210 HP, Ability Trade, discard a card, draw 2, Righteous Beating deals 20 damage for each of those Pokemon in play, 3-2 um, Lucario, J flying 210 HP, Mobility Aura Strike, 30 damage plus 90 if you just evolved into Lucario this turn, um, Cyclone Kick dealing 134 3 is pretty nice because since we only have strong energy, um, if we ever get to Cyclone Kick, it'll definitely be for 170, potentially 200 for the treatment. And then, Cantanker is beat down. Um, if Lucario gets damaged, you deal 30 damage for every damage counter Lucario has. So, just like Taurus GX are really big threat and you don't want to attack into Lucario GX unless you're gonna want to kill it. Um, in most scenarios, at least. Um, tengo que jugar Talonflame Guardi. Quedó, creo que en top 32. No quedó en décimo, pero, pero la verdad es que no me gusta para nada ese deck. Um, hello, Marky Loves Cat. And then we have one Mew EX to use Versatile, Righteous Beating, and deal with Buzzwall. We have Mewtwo as well to deal with early Buzzwalls. Um, we have Triple Alien and Oran Guru, which have been staples in. Um, in standard Zora text now. Um, to quarter wise, we have Triple Bridget, Triple Guzma, Triple N, as is expected in Zora text. And then we have one Cynthia, one Sycamore, one Kukui, one Malo, and one Acerola. Um, four Ultral and four Puzzle of Time. Standard for Zora text. Um, double Field Power, Double Evil Soda. Um, double Choice Band, Single Soul Stone, and Single Enhanced Hammer, along with two Parallel CD. Um, the Double Field Lore shows zero respect for Carpenter decks, but I would assume Pedro didn't face too many. Um, double Parallel is very nice for the Disruption, and then four DTs and four Strong Energy round out the deck. So, let's jump into Ladder and see how we can do with this deck, if we can keep up that win streak. Um, you've seen a few tag, a few takes on the spread deck, and it seems fun. Um, yeah, I saw Team Fish Knuckles did one as well. Um, I'm not fond of the bursting balloons, honestly. Um, I think you almost always want the the guaranteed extra damage from Fighting Fury Belt along with the extra HP, because a Coco with a Fighting Fury Belt doesn't get knocked out by too many things. So it usually gets um, two turns of spreading, which is really nice. And now we are going first and we have the perfect hand to just get a knockout immediately with Lucario. So let's do that. When is Blue back from Brazil? Um, I would assume he got back yesterday, but he might have wanted to take the day off today. Okay, so we just top deck the Bridget. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely double Zerua, and we are up against Buzz Rock, so... Uh, I mean, Mewtwo is okay, but I think for now it's okay to pressure with Lucario. Um, my Riolu should be safe, so I can go ahead and attach, and then we'll just pass. 
top deck ranger all day indeed. And yeah, the balloons don't seem ideal, honestly. Um, they just seem okay. So I'd rather have the either the Fine Fury Belts or the Choice Bands. But I have been thinking a lot about that deck. Um, cards I've been thinking about are Cartana GX and switching to Rainbow Energies instead of the Fairies. Um, playing Sudowoodo because I already have the four counter energy as well. Um, like there's a lot you can do with that deck, which is really cool. Um, I also feel like I need an Guru, but I am considering that deck for um, for for four for four. <laughs> I am considering that deck for um, Toronto, I guess, just as a last. A last resort, not as a last resort, just as a different deck, um, which is for the last tournament of that particular format. Okay, so we just got, uh, we just lost a Zorua. I'm gonna grab the Rayolu to thin, and I'm just gonna end. Uh, we do give extra cards to my opponent. Team Polly's back. Thank you so much, Alex. Seven months in a row. That's crazy. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. Okay, so we do have access to Mew. However, we don't have a Zork. And I could also just attack with Lucario. Um... For something not bus rock, like something that's not, um, oh, we're gonna lose the Zoru as well. It's so sad. Something that's like just one last tournament, one last uh, attempt at the tournament, not ugh, at the format. It's the last tournament with this format because after that we get Forbidden Light. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so I'll trade away the strong. I mean, I need to get really lucky here. That's not getting very lucky. Uh, I could attack with Lele. That's not horrible. Twig going the only threat with Lele doesn't seem bad. And I can just grab N because we know my opponent's definitely gonna knock out. Uh, you're completely right, Max Rock. I could have knocked out the puzzle, right? With Lucario. <laughs> I could have, if I had, yeah, two strongs plus a choice band, would have been enough to one hit KO the puzzle. That was, yeah, you are 100% right. That would have been a much better way to go about it. I did not think about the double strong Lucario. I did not think about the double strong Lucario. Whoops. You are completely correct, Max Rock. Um, Seal Valley, Dustmane, and Krozma. Um, I don't know. It's like Dustmane and Krozma needs to recharge. Like you need to attack with Seal Valley to recharge. Malamar and Ultron and Krozma just um, runs you over, and then it's just without a Zork engine or an artillery engine, you will probably struggle quite a bit. That's my issue with the deck. Okay, so my opponent really wants to hit elixirs here. Um, did he play that one on with? Uh, no, he played. The elixir was played on to puzzle on turn one. Okay, we see a floatstone on the artillery, so trying to thin. My opponent will take a knockout here. We will end him, but he already has artillery, so that's not ideal. Uh, yeah, Seal Valley is tempting because of the because of the memory, but I think it's just clunk, super super clunky. And yeah, being weak to fighting is just not ideal either. Um, choice band on this guy and then N. Okay, so we did get the Locario to get the knockout here. Um, I'm gonna trade. <laughs> I mean, you are beyond that table lever, uh, Alex. 
when when you hit follow, you immediately became a table leaver. Manchas, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so so much. Okay, ah, uh, all the cards are good here. I think I get rid of the Mewtwo, but all the cards look pretty good here. Um, okay, I just I really wanted energy to attach to this Ryoru. Uh, because there is a universe where I can knock out a potential like and rock. But I really need to just get rid of this guy. Oh, never mind. Lycanroc Rock is no longer a threat because my opponent used his GX attack, which I think is was a big mistake. Unless he didn't have Bridge Rock, which is through basic fighting. Okay, so he had two GX. Never mind. I think we're good here. This Lugar is now a really big threat, and my opponent has no real response to. <laughs> yeah, all you guys are being very kind with your with your bits. Thank you so so much. <laughs> Team Polizak. I mean You are forever a table leaver, Alex. Don't worry about it. Everyone knows you are forever a table leaver. <laughs> you can actually click on follow and then follow again, I think. And it'll show up again, I think. Okay, so there's another puzzle. Really not threatening at the moment. <laughs> Neda. I think this Miley face cut away from the tear. <laughs> Seems like he wanted to overtake first place. Yeah, appreciate the music here. Awesome, I'm really glad you do. There you go, Neda, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Very kind of you. Now you are currently first place. Thank you so, so much. You guys are too, too kind. Okay, so we see a Kuzma. We're gonna lose yet another Zerua. Um, no GX from Lycanroc just means we have an easy knockout on Puzzle. Well, not easy, I guess, but um, I can Lele for Mallow, Mallow for Mew, EX, and DC. Uh, I guess my opponent is down to two prize cards. My opponent is down to two prize cards. And this orc is potentially an easy. Yo. Um, only one puzzle left though, in theory. Manchas, thank you so so much for the bits, now you're in first place. <laughs> People fighting for first place, thank you so much. Um, Silvali setting up dust main for the end game, so Galio can definitely load the energy. Yeah, Jack, like. Silvali has been tried to some success. I just I don't think I would be comfortable with it. <laughs> the white snake, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Within a matter of two minutes, not two minutes, like one minute, we've had three different that three different people in the first place. Thank you guys so so much. Okay, so the Mew is so risky though. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Can I? If I get choice band strong, is that enough for a knockout? 130, 150, 170. Yeah, 200. Okay, this seems better than risking the mule to getting knocked out by mule EX. He seems much, much better. So I'm gonna trade away the Orange Guru. I mean, my opponent is one Guzma away from knocking this guy out, pretty much. But, I can't do this, and I think I should take away this so that my opponent can't search for, um, for Boswell easily. And I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. And then, I think I'm gonna stretch her back as a ruler. <laughs> Viva Tijuana. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so Cyclone Kick. 
200 damage for the knockout. My opponent doesn't have any GX in play though, so we can't immediately win next turn. We cannot immediately win next turn. And my opponent does have that Zork as a potential uh, KO there. So we would ideally want to find a Parallel CD. Either a Puzzle or a Parallel CD to Parallel CD away my Zork. His opponent is missing his Enhanced Hammers indeed. Okay, we see a Lele for Kuzma. I mean, two, uh, Elixir Energy on Suruuro plus Kuzma does it. Or plus Lycanroc. So my opponent has quite a few outs here. My opponent has quite a few outs here, honestly. Yep, there's the Lycanroc. Springs of Zork, I would imagine. Has to, right? Whoa, he chose not to. What? One, two, three, four energy. Oh, I guess Elixir plus energy on Mule also does it because he can copy uh, what's on learn. Okay, yeah, that's what he's going for. <laughs> but now that he played Lycanroc and Lele. Oh gosh, here we go. Now that he played both. Yeah, there's a well played. Um, now that he played both, um, we could have won next turn. We just lost too many easy prizes in the beginning. And me with, like me missing that knockout with Lucario, like I just didn't see it, that was a big deal. That was definitely a big deal. So we lose the um, we lose the win streak. Um, if I had seen that knockout. That puzzle would not have taken three prizes, it would have only taken one. My opponent would have lost the two energy, and the Lucario would have just completely um, wrecked from that point onward, I think. Um, do you think this is the best variant of Lucario? It's definitely Zorak Lucario is the best variant. Um, I just feel like this list is definitely missing um, Regirock. I think it's definitely missing Regirock in that regard. Like, that's the only thing I would be missing from this list. And maybe a Tapu Koko. Yeah, lots of dogs outside. <laughs> lots of dogs outside, guys. Okay, so we start Zerua. Start Zerua and Pritchett, which is always nice. But we don't have any follow-up. Oh, that was you, GG. Um, that's a difficult name to pronounce. <laughs> GG HR. I'm gonna call you HR. GG. Okay, so we are up against an Alolan Executor deck with Venusaur. Interesting. How much HP does Alolan Executor have? I don't remember. I do not remember. Yeah, then we could have gone both ways. Um, HR. Um, if you go back and watch the game when it's up on YouTube, you'll see that I just completely missed the fact that I could have knocked out the first puzzle with... Um, <laughs> I missed the knockout on the first puzzle with Lucario and too strong. I was like, oh no, I'm 20 damage away. I didn't realize uh, I had the second strong already. Okay, so we even see Victini, so... <laughs> it's as if we're playing in the Pokedex series today, guys. It's as if we're playing in the Pokedex series. Um, I did top the Gazork, which is very nice. Definitely very nice. We're just gonna pass. And, yep. 130 damage. Draco Meteor Barrage. 80 damage for each grass energy. And then Executor's Paradise simply evolves. Um, 
Number 3 HP is annoying though. Manchas, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the pits. Very kind of you. Look at the look at the at the club. It's so cool. It's so so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Okay, so we got end into a potentially um, just as decent hand. So now we don't have a way to retreat. I'm just getting all the flips here. Well, he's going for the flips. That's what I meant to say. Um, if I can, I'll definitely retreat into Vulcario for the knockout, though. So, the question is do I Cynthia or do I just go ahead and trade? Um, I really don't know. The White Snake, <laughs> thank you so much for the 25 bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> the face. You're like, nope. You're not pulling this off, um, my chat. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so trade away the Bridget. And then, ooh, that's a good trade. So trade away the N. <laughs> okay, so we have the Lucario to knock out the Executor. Like, after we deal with the Executors, we are completely. So that is why I'm gonna go ahead and ultra all these two for our Ryo. Because I do need a follow up to this Lucario pretty much. Um, in case it gets one hit KO'd, or if he, my opponent deals any damage, I just attach again and then can tank her deep down. Like, nothing threatens me here other than the executors. <laughs> guys and your bit wars okay so there's a sycamore discarding a ton of very decent cards um i mean counter energy why would you use counter energy here maybe my opponent is playing pseudo -Wodo. he did get very candy though into venusaur he already had this energy, yeah, he discarded energy, so I don't understand why you would do that. And he also field lowered away my choice bent, which was a mistake to be there in the first place. Uh, 168 is so much HP. Okay, so I think I definitely want to just knock out this executor. He also used the attack and didn't, um, and didn't evolve, which is weird. Nela, thank you so much for 250 bits. Watch that drop. Boom. <laughs> it switches everything out. <laughs> yeah, the field blower honestly kind of helped. The field blower honestly kind of helped. Okay, so there's an energy, there's a... Bloodstone, there's a Zorg. I'm just gonna trade this as well. And a <laughs> double puzzle. Okay, so Aura Strike, we get a knockout here. And then like closing out the game might be annoying because we're gonna we're gonna be two shutting everything, but my opponent is out of threat. Um, three Alolan Executor in the discard pile, a bunch of energy as well. There's an N, which honestly doesn't bother us because we now have Triple Trade to combat that. And we get the very same double puzzle back along with a Zorg and a Mew, both of which we can discard. And the White Snake, thank you so much for the pit. Thank you so much. 175 pits. Boom, there it is. Just goes all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so, so much. Have a tight race between the White Snake and Neda. And then Manchas um, also trying to be up there. Um, 
Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Okay, so my opponent just passes here. Um, I definitely don't have a way to punish this. However, I can just Guzma knock out Octillery. I think that seems like the best course of action. Um, I think that seems like the first, the best course of action. Just knock out Octillery. Neta! <laughs> 176. There you go. <laughs> Double puzzle for days indeed. Thank you so much, Nena. Thank you so so much. Okay, so we have no more traits. However, we can um, lately for Kuzma, which there should be two off left. Yep. So I knock out Octillery. Like if I have to. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So the plan is. I'm gonna knock out Octillery this turn, and then I'm gonna keep trading. And then I'm gonna Kuzma again to knock out either Execute or Victini. And then I'm, I'm next turn, I'm gonna have one more energy on one of the Lucarios. And then afterwards. Um... <laughs> Thank you so much, the White Snake. Thank you so much. Wow, guys. Look at the look at the thing it's blocked. It's like it's been full, and then it's gotten uh, depleted. And then... Thank you guys so, so much. And yes, the white snake, your bit badge. It's so strange that you don't have your bit badge. It's generally very, very strange that you don't have the bit badge. Okay, we see a soup rod. Double executor and an execute. Okay. So, Venusaur. Each basic craft, yeah. Venusaur doesn't, like, counter energy when you're losing, doesn't count as 4 grass energy. So I don't understand why you would run counter energy that deck. I really don't. I really, really don't. There's only 49 bits separating first and second right now. Only 49 bits. Wow, my opponent just keeps using... What is this? Okay. There's no way we lose, right? Um, gems, yeah. I don't think he's trying anymore, honestly, at this point. Um, must have art, definitely Tapu Lele. And then you could even argue Zork. You could even argue Zork is also a must have. Um, although maybe not, but definitely Tapu Lele. At least one Tapu Lele. You 100% need at least one Tapu Lele. Okay, so I'm gonna double puzzle for double Kuzma. And then next turn I win by knocking out the Lele. So I can't knock this guy out. So I'm gonna knock out the Victini. Um, they're not super rare. They're just expensive, but they're not super rare, I don't think. Um, I don't wanna play that. I'll thin it though. They're not super either. Okay. So there's one strong in the prizes as well. Otherwise I need triple trade to get me my last strong. Or no, there's no way you can get this strong up to here. Yeah, like that's only three flips. No, I guess that's four flips. And there's the end, that's fine. That is fine. Like, we might not win the next spot, the next turn, but we'll definitely win the turn after that. 16 cards left. You just started playing. Okay, so you should get the booster packs to try and get Lele, yes, but like only with the ones that come from coins and that are trade blocked if you have the actual codes you should trade those codes like for booster packs and then those booster packs trade them for cards do not open them i don't think that's a good return of investment yeah every time you get 200 coins get uh guardians risings packs okay so that was 
190 damage, so 20 short. And that was average. So I feel like you would reflip here. I think you definitely reflip. Yep, my opponent chooses to reflip, and he gets an even worse result. Okay. So, a straight. I even have the evil soda to kill, which is amazing. Number one, two, three, four. We get a Kuzma, which is awesome. I'm just gonna lose the power off. And then, okay, so we won't be winning this turn unless I get my last trunk off of this. Yeah, I don't, but this is fine. I feel like I'm gonna stagger the field lowers. I'm gonna stagger the field lowers. And then I'm gonna knock out the Bikini again, so my opponent doesn't have a chance to reflip. Right, she's beating, and now I can win with either the Guzma or by finding my last strong or with this strong. Yeah, we're good here. All you've been doing is grinding theme pack versus. Yeah, so all the coins you have, trade them for Guardians Rising packs and see if you can open Tapu Lelis. That's definitely the best course of action. That's definitely the best course of action. Door. You're welcome, gems. You are welcome. <laughs> I wanted to decide to attach another energy. I really don't understand the counter energy, though. <laughs> I went with one out of six tails. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. One out of six heads. I mean, one of six. One heads out of six. One. Yep. I <laughs> ripped that guy. Okay, guys. So. I have time for one more match before I have to go. Because I have coaching at four and it's currently 3.38. So hopefully the match doesn't go on for too much longer. And for one more match. Nera, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Now you're at 800. Wow, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Ah, and we just jumped to 120 viewers. I think this is the highest I've had um, ever. So thank you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. My opponent sends a very friendly hello. Thank you so, so much, Neda. Okay, what do we lead with? Raiolu? Yeah, Raiolu. You like grinding tournaments as well for packs? Yeah, that's also a good option to get packs. But those packs, since they're not trade locked, you trade for the cards you actually do need. A white snake, thank you so much. Not letting uh, Nera just claim that first place. Thank you guys so, so much. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so, so much. Okay, we get another Zorua, so we might not even need to bridge it on turn one. And my opponent starts Layla, which is great news. Great, great news. Okay, we see a Nivi. Oh boy, this is Glacian. This is gonna be difficult for sure. We all might go down here. That would not be ideal. We all might actually just go. 
go down immediately pretty much. We'll see. Okay, so it is a glacian deck. We don't know with what else though. There's a choice band, there's a floatstone. Oh my. <laughs> nah, that just I mean the white thing just showing up here. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, it's Glacian Garb too. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend like we're in a not so good position. I mean, my opponent did see me just discard a um, a Kukui, but that's fine. Um, Riolu goes down, and then I'm just gonna immediately retaliate on the Glacian. There's the DCE, that's fine. There's the Frost Bullet. Knocks out and puts 30 on the Riolu. That's okay by me. Well, actually, that's not great. Ah, uh, the the strong top deck and the other Lucario is prized. Glacian Zora could have been a nice choice for land regionals. Um, it was international, Latin America international, but I think I disagree. Um, there wasn't that much Zorg. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was Zorg, but there wasn't that much Zorg. And basically, if you face any non Zorg deck, you are not gonna have a good time okay so my opponent needs an, an a dc replacement immediately pretty much otherwise Lucar just finishes off the glacian which is good um yeah my opponent sad face so the the enhanced hammer coming in clutch and hello outcast thank you so much for being here welcome thank you so much for being here very very kind of you to be here Outcast, um, for those of you who are like gems who are new to BCGO, Outcast has a really good, um, a really good trade value guide. Ooh, my opponent didn't have anything. My opponent did not have anything off of that. That is so good. Okay, me too. Red Illusions, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Wow, and you just kicked everyone out of the cup literally just kicked everyone out of the cup thank you so much that's very kind of you okay so we will just aura strike and then hopefully we will have abilities next turn which would be amazing because we did get the zorg i've had rescue stretchered for the ryolu thank you so much for subscribing red illusions thank you so so much very kind of you. This has been a great stream. Thank you guys so much. You guys make a world of difference. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I don't know what I'd be doing without you guys and Tailman and everything. It's like... I don't know. I'd be in some weird office job. Okay. Double puzzle, can we use the double puzzle for something? Probably to stick on more, honestly. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double puzzle for Ultra Ball and not the thing, the stick on more, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna Ultra Ball, the Lucario and the Kuzma. For a dork. <laughs> JG, how'd you miss out on the Seal Valley discussion? Um, yeah, so Seal Valley, like the concept is very interesting. It's just being weak to fighting is huge. And the energy requirements, they are not kind. That's the biggest issue, I think. The biggest issue is more about. Uh, ooh. Okay, if I parallel this way. My Lucario is actually safe from getting knocked out by Glacian, which is awesome. So I'm feeling brave enough to the point where I'm just gonna go ahead and Aura Strike. Ooh, I could have kept down. 90, 120, 140, 160. No, I was 10 short of the knockouts. Hello, Ruben. Thank you so much for being here. 
You've been piloting Steel Valley for the last two months with a lot of success. Yeah, like the deck is okay, I just think it's solid tier 2. It's definitely nowhere near close to tier 1. Um, Neda, ¿cuál deck creo que va a dominar con el nuevo formato de Forbidden Life? Eh, definitivamente. Um, definitivamente Ultra Necrozma y Bustle con v string van a ser eh, las mejores opciones. And yeah, Arcas uh, Rainbow Rare Lucario is gonna look really cool. I I already pre-ordered for uh, full art Lucarios. I don't like the Rainbow Rares, but I do like um, the full arts better than the regular ones. Um, okay, so yeah, like Glacian is a good card overall. Don't get me wrong. Nera, thank you so much. Which I about yet. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a great card, it's just, um, it's just outside of Zoark, it's difficult to do anything else. Man, Shazam the Whitesnake, thank you guys so much for coming through. Thank you guys so, so much. The Whitesnake is just like, nope, I'm gonna be first by the end of the stream. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so... We finally see a brand new Glacian GX powered up. And we are in a lot of trouble here, honestly. Um, Lucario is still safe though. If my opponent swings into Lucario, we are still safe. We're still safe. And I don't believe that deck plays um, field floor. Oh, uh, never mind. There's one field floor. Does it win two field floors? Oh, the enhanced hammer. So he's gonna take the risk, I guess. We did get an energy, which is nice. Um, oh, there you go, JGB. That's pretty good. 81% <laughs> win rate over 100 games. That's pretty nice. And you beat me as well and Rahul. That works? That works. Stubborn to a fault. <laughs> I mean, I would love to be proven wrong about Steel Valley, it's just, in my experience, it hasn't really worked out. And can tankers be down? Yeah, I mean, that, that that was a risky move by my opponent, but it's what he had to do. Like, just hope off of the end, I didn't have, I didn't get the energy um, to use can tankers. The good part is any energy help there, not just the strong. Um, we see a Mewtwo, I would assume, yeah, with a DC. That's fine, we're down to one prize card. And we have yet to play a Field Lower, I believe. Yeah, we have yet to play a Field Lower, so we can still top deck one of the two. Um, <laughs> it's like spotting a leverage. <laughs> um, how far out you are from the other guys? The White Snake has 950, Neda has 900, and you have 319 Manchas. So you would need 632 to reclaim first place if that's what you wanted to do. Um, okay, so we just pass here. I mean, I could play the puzzle of time, honestly. Could play the puzzle of time. The issue is I've already used Sycamore, so there's not much that I could be getting to help me. Oh, never mind. Field Lower into Cynthia seems good. <laughs> Neda almost has you out of bits. <laughs> is the promo over? Like the one that had uh, one dollar for 500 bits? Is that over? You've got a, an article coming out about it soon. That's pretty cool, JGB. I'm looking forward to it. When you write it, please um, share the link with us here on the on the stream. Yeah, a single puzzle can sometimes be like it can be either demoralizing because you know you're gonna keep drawing for three more, keep dead drawing for three more turns, or it can be like, oh, thank you, I'm gonna be saved. Or it can be frustrating if um, if you were going to top deck a good card regardless. Um, you cannot get Shining Legends packs with gold coins, no. Ooh, the end. That's a difficult end. That is a difficult end. <laughs> Isn't buenas, yes. Son seis dollars, no? 
<laughs> es un buen. Um, single puzzle into scoop. Yeah. I've definitely single puzzled into scoop. Okay. So. We did get a strong. And then we got a DZ. Oh, I wish I had saved that DZ. I mean, the attachment. It's fine, though. It's fine. And it, look, it looks like we're gonna finish this game just in time for my coaching session. It's gonna end up as a free article on Flipside Gaming and someone's PC. That works. That definitely works. Okay. Um, see, the, the, thing, the issue here is the second I attack, The second I, I commit an energy to the Mewtwo, that's when Lapras just comes up to knock me out. So I think I'm gonna pass. Blizzard burn, can't attack during the next turn. Steel blower. Okay, so now he has knockout with Blizzard burn. Is he gonna commit to it? It looks like it. Ends me once again. Choice band. Not good enough. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna retreat and Blizzard Burn. So I have a turn where I can use um, Riolu's jab. Because he can't attack this turn. Unless he has Guzma. Looks like we're gonna lose though. The Garp is just too harsh. Oh my gosh, the top decks. The top decks. Okay. So that was a good top deck, of course. We get to trade. Um, Deadly B, yes, I will be going to Utah this weekend. I will be going to Utah this weekend. Okay, Mallow, DC. Oh, jeez. 60 plus 120, that's not a knockout. So I'm gonna have to bench them here. And if I bench the mule, I Guzma immediately wins the game for my opponent. And I lost the Acerola. I mean, if he has Guzma, he just GXS for the win anyways, because we lost the Acerola. So... We just put Bridget at the top, I feel. And Guzma. No, a basic and a Guzma. Or a Lucario? No, not Lucario, because I'm gonna retreat here. Yeah. Guzma and Tsurua. No, not Guzma. I don't know. Difficult. Uh, what if, if I attack with Mew? No, if I attack with Mew, um, Mewtwo just wrecks me. Um, uh, Guzma, if I had been patient, Guzma just knocked out Lele. Oops. Yeah, that was a, ugh, that was a silly Mallow. <laughs> That was actually a very silly Mallow. Um, sick top deck indeed, but I think I blew it. I should have secured the game and I think I misplayed there. Um, you're trying to see where things end up in the new format. Psychic partners might make more sense. Yeah. Um, detect could have been good. Yes. Um, Although now Mewtwo doesn't knock out the energy less Riolu on the bench. Um, in Latin America, which seeds are getting travel support? Uh, first to fourth. So the same people that have been getting it the whole season pretty much. Uh, Gustavo, William, myself, and Octavio. Um, I think you're okay. So... Uh, no, I think I definitely misplayed here. Neta, thank you so much for the 100 extra bits. Now you're solidly in first place with a thousand. Okay, I generally think I misplayed really badly here. Uh, Diego, he's fifth. Diego is fifth place. Oh, do I trade the other field lower? The White Snake, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Lele. Lele into Cynthia. Yeah. Lele into Cynthia. 
and then I need strong plus Lucario. So, oh, there's no, oh my, there's no more strong energy. Jeez. So I'm gonna burn the puzzle for sure. I'm gonna burn the puzzle. Yeah, I think I definitely messed that up. Uh, Kukui is gone. Kukui is gone. Don't trust her. Kukui is gone. Okay. So. I'm gonna retreat into this guy. I'm gonna attach here. And then I think I'm gonna play parallel again. Ah, uh, if I. Okay. If I parallel myself. We know that my opponent doesn't have Guzma, right? If he did, he would have played it the previous turn. So do I just risk it? Because, uh, no, I, I think I lose next turn. I need Kuzma, 100%. Oh, and I don't have Kuzma anymore. I lose next turn. Because my opponent just GXs me. Oh, Mew! Haha, <laughs> weakness! <laughs> I miss Lethal. Whoops. Mew. Yep. If I attack with Mew, I just win. Whoops. <laughs> But that, I forgot I could keep, I could attack with the X. Yeah, too distracted when streaming. Yep. Ah, uh, that was so silly. I just want, would have won with Mew. Um, that was gonna goose my knockout. So if I play the parallel. Um, I save me, I save myself from that. But then he just retreats GXS, and I have no way out of that. Oh my! Goes for EB. Goes for Sycamore. Interesting. What's he looking for? If he GXs here, that's game. Because I have no more Guzmas, and I have no more Acerolas, and I have no more Puzzles. So I have no way out of this. Um, I have no way out of this paralysis. Yep, all the bits. <laughs> all the bits distracted me. Uh. <laughs> yeah, oopsies, 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 yeah, that's the game, <laughs> well played, so could have won uh, with that field or top deck, but I, I messed up the Malo and then I messed up this turn, so no excuses guys, the, the time pressure was uh, a bit too much. <laughs> That was on me though. I definitely should have uh, won that game. I could have played my hand down to zero indeed. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and being here. I appreciate it guys. So unfortunately I have to leave now because um, I have a coaching session and I have coaching throughout the whole afternoon. Um, I probably won't be able, I probably won't have time to stream tomorrow. But I will be back to streaming on Thursday for sure. And um, we'll be doing some expanded prep for um, Salt Lake City Regional. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And then the week after, finally, we will have um, Aneta. Thank you so much for the last cheers. Um, and then the week after that, we'll finally have Forbidden Lights live streams and videos and everything on the channel. So. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the bit love, guys. It's really, really nice of you also to all the subscribers um, and all the followers. Thank you guys so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. The White Snake, just the bits keep on coming. I don't want to log out, guys. I don't want to log out until you guys settle, um, settle this. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you so much. It's very, very kind of you. Um, I do have to go though. Unfortunately, I do have to go. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like if you're watching on YouTube. And I will see you guys on Thursday for sure. Yeah? Thank you guys. Sorry about the misplaced. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.